So as we're in spooky season, it's time to figure out which scary video games or scary-ish video games we could be playing. We all know and love the Resident Evils and the Silent Hills of the video game world, as some moments are so iconic that they're firmly wedged into our gaming memories. Like the Jill Sandwich. That was too close. You were almost a Jill Sandwich. And that funky and mind-bending, well of its time, camera angle of the original Silent Hill. And special mentions and huge respect has to go to the likes of Alan Wake, Bloodborne and Dead Rising. As scary game staples go, these are way up there. But here's a breakdown of five scary video games that you may have missed on your gaming journey. Coming in at number five, we have Outlast. As a freelance investigative journalist, here you play as Miles Upshur investigating Mount Massive Asylum. Armed with just your trusty camera and the knack to run and hide, it's a high adrenaline rush trying to avoid the many dangers that are lurking around you. At four, we have Condemned Criminal Origins. Playing this with my big brother at the time, it scared the out of us. I then got my wife, well at the time my fiance, to play the game and the game focuses on some intense jump scares and being one of the earliest scary games of its nature at the time, this one particularly stands out for me. At number three, we have Super Metroid. Although this isn't classed as a horror game per se, the eerie tense atmosphere, the overwhelming feeling of isolation and the overbearing sense of being watched has many an ingredient for me to add it to the list. Also, it's a nice way to shoehorn Super Metroid into this video. Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2. Two relatively short side-scrolling puzzle platform or horror adventure games, the game focuses on two characters getting from A to B, solving puzzles and avoiding pitfalls and scary characters along the way. The game has some pretty tense and eerie moments that work extremely well to deliver the scares. I actually won a copy of Little Nightmares 2 from a competition being run by the Great Game Debate, commonly known as GGD. Regardless of your gaming background, if you're interested in talking games and taking part in fun gaming discourse, then I'd fully recommend heading over to the GGD Discord channel. They're also posting some fun debates and podcasts right here on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description, so go check, check, check them out. Coming in at number one, I have Infliction. Probably one of the most underrated, scary and horror games around, Infliction is one that I think deserves far more recognition than it gets. It's a first person video game where you're spending most of the game piecing together a mystery about what happened to a particular family in this family home. With the right amount of jump scares and some great use of atmosphere and game mechanics, this is a game I cannot recommend enough to play, especially at this time of year. Infliction definitely takes the number one spot of scary video games that you may have missed in your gaming journey. With Halloween just around the corner, I hope this video gave you some ideas of what you could be playing over the next couple of weeks, or whenever really. Are there other scary video games that you think should have made the list? Please let me know in the comments. Until the next video, I'll catch you later. Can I just borrow that, mate? If you got to the end of this video, then please do like and subscribe.